more than 3,600 hateful tweets directed at, or about, the Duchess of Sussex were sent in just two months by just 20 accounts, new analysis has revealed. The handful of accounts, most of which seem to have been set up explicitly and exclusively to spew vile posts about Meghan Markle, were responsible for 70% of more than 5,200 abusive messages. The research, by campaign group Hope Not Hate and CNN, examined tweets in January and February featuring anti-Meghan hashtags including hashtag Megxit, hashtag Bumpgate, and hashtag MMTCD, believed to mean Meghan Markle, the charlatan duchess. Some posts contain barely concealed, or even barefaced, racism, with references to bananas or instructions to the duchess to go home. Others make fanatically disparaging comparisons between Meghan and the Duchess of Cambridge, while, most bizarrely, some promote the conspiracy theory her movements including squatting down to speak to children prove the eight-month pregnant Meghan is in fact faking her pregnancy. It comes after Buckingham Palace, Clarence House and Kensington Palace issued joint new rules which warned that obscene, offensive or threatening comments would be removed from message threads in order to create a safe environment for genuine fans. Royal aides warned that abusive comments, such as those targeting Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, could be reported to the police, and said the official accounts had had to pre-block the N-word and emojis of knives and guns. In January, Kensington Palace revealed that its moderating team spends hours eliminating vile comments which often target the Duchess of Cambridge, 37, and the pregnant Duchess of Sussex, also 37. Patrick Romanson, researcher for Hope Not Hate, said, Meghan Markle has suffered appalling levels of abuse, some of it racist in nature. Our data analysis, provided to CNN, was able to show how just a small number of accounts were behind the vast majority of anti-Meghan trolling on Twitter. This mirrors other research we've done. For example analyzing anti-Muslim abuse online, where similar messages are often shared, coordinated and amplified by key accounts, as well as bots. Conspiracies often mingle with outright hatred, part of a wider and more disturbing trend for hatred to migrate online, and which social media companies must still do far more to tackle given the rising tide of hate crimes and incidents. The fact that such a small number of users generated such a large number of the tweets suggests that the accounts were created for the purpose of producing negative content about the Duchess, Hope Not Hate said. Some of the accounts also shared links to far-right websites and social media pundits, and many used racial epithets to describe Meghan. But the researchers did not find evidence that the accounts are part of an organized far-right campaign. CNN reported that after Twitter were contacted some offending accounts had been taken down. This week in a message on the royal family's website, stern new guidelines asked followers of the Windsor's accounts to not promote discrimination based on race, sex, religion, nationality, disability, sexual orientation or age. The aim of our social media channels is to create an environment where our community can engage safely in debate and is free to make comments, questions and suggestions, it said. We ask that anyone engaging with our social media channels shows courtesy, kindness and respect for all other members of our social media communities. In a warning to those who flout the guidelines, the royal site said, as well as users being blocked, the police may be contacted in some cases. We reserve the right to determine, at our discretion, whether contributions to our social media channels breach our guidelines, it said. We reserve the right to hide or delete comments made on our channels, as well as block users who do not follow these guidelines. We also reserve the right to send any comments we deem appropriate to law enforcement authorities for investigation as we feel necessary or is required by law. Reaction to the guidelines was largely positive although, predictably, some saw it as an opportunity to immediately flout the request and post disrespectful comments.